Now that the tax deadline has come and gone, a lot of people starting to get those refund checks back into the mail. Certified financial planner Joe Bart joins us now to talk about what to do with the cash. Uh, Joe, I guess I'm glad to hear people are finally getting the cash. There was a debate about whether the government was going to send this out anyway. Yeah, but those checks are in the mail, John, and the key is, is what do you do with it? And unfortunately, what most people do is they take it, the check, they run to Best Buy because they want to get that new high-def 3D television. <laughs> That's one of the worst things you can do. Yeah, it, it's funny because you hear these advertisements about this time of year. Hey, before you even get your refund right. back, come to us, we'll finance you. That's like a double jeopardy. One, you're getting financed on something, you're going to pay the finance charges, right. and two, you could have used that money for something else. Yeah, you got it. What you want to do is if you, when you get that refund check, first of all, look at what obligations that you have. You have medical bills, if you have a high credit card debt, you want to get that cleaned up. Don't be taking it and go spend it in, on a new television or a new car or, or a vacation. What you want to do is look at what your responsibilities are. The next thing you want to do is look at how you should invest that money. And once again, we want to talk about people about putting money in their retirement plan. Set up an IRA, put money in your 401k. You know, if you, if you could just earn 7% of your money, John, and that isn't unreasonable today. Now, I'm not talking about a CD, but you can put it in a stock mutual fund and expect that kind of rate of return over a period of time. That money will double in 10 years, and it'll quadruple in 20 years. So you take five grand, that's worth 20 grand to you in, in, in the future wow. for your retirement. Otherwise, it's just gone. You have a TV that's now 20 years old and you don't even know anymore. Hey, what, what is your philosophy on paying down debt? Well, the first thing you want to do is get those high credit card bills off your back because if you're just treading water, if you're just making the minimum payments, they say it'll take you 18 to 20 years just to pay off their credit card. So look at the high credit card debt. And if you have a home mortgage, what you want to look at, is particularly in these times, is refinancing if you can because you're never going to see mortgage rates this low again. You got that extra money, might help you get through that refinance process. Okay, so pay off those debts first. But what if you're in a situation where, you know, let's talk about the house. You can pay down the house, maybe a couple grand, right. or put it into a fund, like you said, making 7%. Right. Do you like one any better than the other? Is that a personal discretion? Well, you remember the interest for most people is tax deductible on your house. If you have a reasonable interest rate, 5% or less, I wouldn't rush to pay off that mortgage, but I would put the money in a retirement plan because you get the tax deduction for it and you get the accumulation on it on a tax deferred basis. That's what people ought to be focusing on. So compact discs, electronics, <laughs> probably not the best investment. You got it, John. This time. All right, Joe Bird. What's your website in case people want to read all the stuff you write about? Financialgroup.com. All right, Joe. Always good to see you. You too, John. Of course, Thanks. you can get the latest information on our website, myfoxorlando.com.